coding. And so actually last year, um, I published a conference paper introducing this um, um, initial idea of a clear framework, which is um, um, kind of online teaching model to promote active learning in STEM education. And if you are interested, you can find the full paper um, online and have a read about uh, what's the detail inside this model. In today's presentation, I will briefly introduce it. And uh, more importantly, I will um, introduce a um, pre-experiment design research that uh, was developed and uh, realized in order to verify if how how students respond to this kind of design online. So the clear model, as you can see in this uh, chart, um, it is uh, um, constructed by create, learn, extend, apply, and remember. So the initial idea is that students are better um, of remembering things or content through the process of creating content. So from creating to remembering, uh, teachers need to facilitate this process um, by actually providing fundamental content and also providing extended materials for those students who are more demanding and guide them through the process of applying um, the pre provided content to the creation assignment uh, the class have. And uh, in the end, uh, students through this whole interaction and uh, building process will be able to remember the content more uh, deeply. So that's the idea behind this model. So um, the clear model actually has two um, layers, if you like. The, first, the left part of the model is the theoretical um, part, which I briefly explained earlier. And the right part of it is the practice there. So this layer actually kind of lay out, lays out to the uh, basic structure that um, I suggest for um, an online course to be to be built. So for each lesson, it actually follows in exactly the the complete cycle of a clear designing model from creating assignment to arrange an assessment to test how much a student remember from this lesson. So each lesson is a clear cycle and it goes down from the beginning to the end of the course. And in the end, if it is created on the Moodle, it can be saved as a template course, which can be copied, reused, and edited by other teachers, including yourself as a template course um, that can be recyclable inside the system and outside of it. So it will be good for, for instance, faculty, de um, uh, faculty development, um, this kind of professional training program to share kind of best practice courses to different uh, teachers so that they don't need to build the course from scratch, uh, especially important for newly employed teachers who probably didn't get uh, official teacher training before um, starting teaching classes online. So um, now I would like to address some research questions for this pre-experimental uh, design research. So three questions were guiding the uh, research inquiry. One is, um, is this kind of designed course effective to improve students' understanding of the presented topic? The second question is, um, do the pro um, demographic profiles of students matter in influencing this kind of uh, effectiveness of the course? The third one is, um, how do students respond to this design? Are they satisfied? How is uh, their intention to, to use the similar kind of course in the future? So the course was actually happening in January this year. A total of 17 students um, completed the whole course. And my intended hours for them was six hours in this one month, completely self-regulated learning mode. And uh, um, 
because the number of students were uh, was very small. So uh, in the end, I switched from the control group experiment design to the pre-experimental design for the explore, uh, exploration purpose only. So um, this course is completely online. There's no face-to-face -face meeting whatsoever, but I was always there online um, uh, in case of students needing anything. And I reply to emails if they send me emails. In fact, they send me a lot of emails in the end. So the Moodle um, platform I use, uh, the version number is here. And because it also involves Mahara platform, so the version number, the version number is also listed here. Uh, the course design is uh, rather, as I explained before, um, oh, okay, so the first students were asked to create an assignment um, where they actually would do it through the Mahara. So they needed to create a Mahara page and send the, um, the page URL back to the, to the Moodle. And uh, um, they don't have to do right away, of course. This is just to inform them what they need to do by the end of the course. And then I give them two lecturing videos they can watch and some scripts, which is uh, um, extended, which has extended um, content based on the lecturing video and some external links um, to, to some fundamental knowledge of the topic. So this is the fundamental content of the learning part. And then I also offer them external links to additional resources. Okay. And uh, um, in the end, they are going to apply what they have learned um, to create the things in the assignment uh, of discussion in the forum. They post each other's links to the creation and get feedback from their peer. And in the end, they write a self-reflection um, post in the forum. Okay, so um, there's a pre-test in the um, at the beginning of the course and the post-test. Um, they are basically identical set of questions that that are used to test the knowledge of students of the topic. And uh, this is the assessment of the course. Um, we'll say most of the grades actually go to the creation assignment. So in the end, well, the course uh, students perform well in, in the quiz too. Of course, at the beginning, they didn't have a good um, grades because they never heard about the topic before. But at the end of the course, uh, most of them perform quite well. And uh, the creation assignment actually over 70% Five percent scored over uh, 25 out of 40. But um, I needed to remind you there are two tasks actually in the creation. Um, they perform rather well to the simple task, but not so well in the more complicated task um, as reflected in the evaluation criteria of three, item three and item five. So 100% actually passed the minimum threshold of 45 points out of 80 to get to the final payment. And the maximum gr uh, grade is 79, minimum grade is 46, uh, with the average score of 66. And 50% actually scored equivalent to um, more than 81 scores out of 100. And PPT was the most used tool for students to actually produce the creation assignment accounting for 71%. Um, and there are other um, very creative forms of production from students which were, were very exciting. So one of them is this um, kind of manga style production um, you know, representing two friends talking about this uh, um, creative commons licenses and how to use them. Another one uh, is based on a sister and a, a, a brother, their conversation. Another one is a PDF flyer that was quite uh, neat. And uh, another student even made a Netflix style video mall to, um, to present the idea. So the creativity was quite um, inspiring. 
And because the sample size was rather small, so um, I cannot say this can be generalized to a very big population. But from what I found in this small sample of 17 students, Japanese students seem to remember better after the course um, based on the, 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 the post-test quiz um, performance. And non-Japanese students tended to create better, uh, meaning that they perform slightly better than Japanese students in the creation assignment. And female students seem to respond better to the course than male students in both remembering and creating. And the most, um, the, the best responding students were from the computer science um, faculty uh, compared to other four faculties uh, students who participated. And another finding is that um, this um, model seemed to respond better to students of higher education level uh, than the lower le level of education, meaning that postgraduate students um, perform better in the course than bachelor students. Um, but when you run the Spearman's correlation um, analysis, so I found that there's no significant correlation between the demographic characteristics of students and their um, test grades. But maybe that's because the size was rather small. So another thing is that students um, of a higher level of education seem to be more um, actively engaging in the peer interaction forum, suggesting their tendency of social learning compared to bachelor students. So um, there was no significant correlations between time span in the, in the, in the whole Moodle uh, in the course and their grades in the course. And I found that the extended content was not that much accessed by students. And uh, the fact that they are not accessing enough of this um, extended materials um, didn't influence their grades in the end. And uh, but what did influence in the final grade was the engagement level in the peer creation showroom, where students paste the URL to their own creation and get feedback from their peers. And in the end, 100% actually agreed the course was well designed in a new way that they never saw before. And 94% satisfied with the course and enjoyed the experience. And creation task was the most time consuming activity in the course, according to the students. All agreed that it is rather satisfying to use Moodle, um, but only half liked it over Google Classroom, which is currently being used in, uh, in my university. As for the Mahara platform, all agreed that Mahara is a good add on to uh, Moodle, but found it rather not that easy to cope with. Okay. And not that easy to use. So in the end, I came up with some pr propositions, um, uh, I would say preliminary finding in this, uh, um, in this research. One is probably this kind of design response uh, better in uh, delivering um, the, the rather lower level of complexity of task, but that needs to be tested. Also, the culture groups, different culture groups of students respond differently to this um, design. And uh, maybe, maybe higher level of education level um, students respond better. But that doesn't mean that we should actually go for the higher level. Maybe it means rather the opposite. We need to go lower levels to enhance their creativity. So the other one is to pay attention about social learning, okay, to because it is apparently influencing much in this kind of design. So um, students hated pre-test because they had no idea about the topic and they just perform you know, miserably in the test. That kind of made them very frustrated. So that's something needed to be um, reconsidered. Another thing is the extended learning was not much used by students and uh, suggesting it can be uh, actually weight on the model. So in the revised model, it should be considered as well. And the biggest pitfall of this research is the small sample size. So, um, uh, I was being too, pros uh, I would say, positive about it. In the end, only 17 students finished it. But also the course rather, was rather very um, 
intense for most students. So um, that also influenced the result of the research. Uh, in the future, I would like to involve more students in testing this res um, research result and test the discovered uh, propositions. So, um, well, running online educational experiment is rather not that easy. So this is actually my first time doing it. So I learned a lot from it. And I also learned that students struggle more with the Mahara platform than with the Moodle platform. And there are some usability issues to address before running the whole um, bundle um, uh, you know, space of um, Moodle and Mahara together to the whole campus. So that's, that's about it. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to take it. I have a chat in the, okay. Yeah, so um, if anybody has any question, um, you, can, you can just open the mic and ask. And if, if not, I will just end this meeting. So um, thank you very much for coming.